Rahul, uh, you know, let's take you back on the multiple occasions that the opposition has tried to build an attack where Narendra Modi is concerned. 2014, if uh, you know, I'm not wrong with the Chaiwala comment, the Prime Minister turned it around and made it about the Chaiwalas and where he came from, which was from nothing, and made it into his moment. Uh, 2017, you have the 2019, you have the Chokidar Chorhe comment, which the Prime Minister turned around again. This time around, do you see this working in the favor of opposition or actually backfiring because the BJP or even the Prime Minister in his next rally can go right forth and say, Ye sab anpad ki baat kar rahe hai. Even if it is Anpar, he can make that into a rallying point like he did with the Chaiwalas. Pretty, uh, the, in the his, if you see recent history, it was sometime in 2018, exactly five years ago, campaigning for Karnataka and Rajasthan, when Prime Minister Narendra Modi came up with the Namdar versus Kamdar element. And, and, and it is, it is, he turned, used that basically to portray a certain, that the opposition leaders mm -hmm. or those opposed to him represent a certain mindset that somebody who comes from a not so well provided background, uh, is, is looked down upon. I think the BJP is already uh, in the throes of utilizing this in part of the campaign. And uh, if you see this argument about somebody's education, uh, Lok Sabha or assemblies is not addressed in the assembly, in the constitution of India, in the representation of People's Act, you have to be 25 years old, a voter anywhere in the country, and you have to be a citizen of India and you can contest an election. There have been chief ministers who have not even been graduates, maybe have not even passed high school. The average right. education level say in Delhi, for example, I'm looking at only 32.9% uh, have not even graduates. So in a scenario like that, to say that X can become prime minister and should a prime minister not be educated, question marks over the degree. I think there is a political play out happening. One, why is an Arvind Kejriwal doing it? Because I think with the rise of Rahul Gandhi in, par, in the national narrative, I think somewhere there is a bit of a jitter. Arvind Kejriwal is positioning himself vis-a-vis -vis Narendra Modi and the BJP with elections in Rajasthan, Karnataka, uh, mm -hmm. and uh, Madhya Pradesh in coming. The second is the play within the Maharashtra, Vika, uh, Mahavikas Agadi happening in Maharashtra. That's, I think, another very interesting thing happening. Because few days back, you will recall that Udav Thakre fired a salvo on Savarkar at Rahul Gandhi. Now, that was uh, something he was trying to set the tone, which can be problematic for a party like the NCP in Maharashtra, because he had said that Savarkar is a godlike figure for them. And that can, may not go down well with the NCP. It upsets their political equations. The second, I think also, by doing this, the NCP is signaling that it is at variance with the Udav Thakre faction of the Shiv Sena, with the party right. diminished, not the same as it used to be, I think that war for the pole position in uh, Maharashtra is happening between mm -hmm. the three players inside the Mahara, Mahara MBA.